My name is Martha Wondra. I live in Hoisington, Kansas. I, I'm a teacher for Barton County Special Services, and I teach in Hoisington, Claflin, and Great Bend. I think education is so valuable and so important and so many of our kids just usually they really do appreciate it but sometimes don't like the fact that they have to get out of their bed and you know go to school when it's cold out so I think that they maybe don't understand what a true gift it is to be able to have a free public education because there's a lot of people in the world and in like in Haiti where education is not the norm for everyone but a rare thing and something very valuable. What's special about Haiti, guys? They have earthquake. What else did they have? What? What else? Right, right. So they've had a lot to deal with in the last year. After the earthquake, my class was involved with Haiti through Student Rebuild because of our connection with Global Nomads Group. Student Rebuild is Global Nomad Group, Architecture for Humanity and the Bezos Family Foundation all worked in together to raise money to build better, safer, stronger, permanent schools in Haiti. Bezos Family Foundation, they match dollar for dollar up to $2,500 per team with a cap of $500,000. So potentially, students rebuild could raise a million dollars. We have kids involved because they do the fundraising. They also learn about the different aspects of Haiti. They got, they've, we've shared culture, We've shared, we got, we cooked traditional Haitian food for the kids to try. We've just had a lot of really good conversations with students in Haiti and it started last year when GNG started having the video conferences. We were fortunate enough to get to take a part in them and then we've continued that this year. It's really been great. In the back, honey. If the earthquake hit Kansas, there would have been a bigger infrastructure that could have come to our aid. We have the roads and we have the equipment, but like we saw in Katrina, even if we have all of that stuff in place, it still takes a long time to recover from some kind of very significant disaster. We just finished school and we're at home now. Um, this is my daughter Abby and a couple of her friends. They're students that I work with. Um, they helped us with a fundraiser a little while back. Actually, they're the three that made the posters and they baked the food and they sold the food. And so they, I'll let you talk to them about their fundraiser. Recently, we had a bake sale at the Washington Activity Center to raise money. It was for students to rebuild to help rebuild schools in Haiti. We made over $100. And the groups of students rebuild are Global Nomads, Architecture for Humanity, and Bezos Family Foundation. Unfortunately, I don't didn't know much about Haiti before the earthquake. And what I've come to learn since the earthquake is that the Haitians are probably grateful to have people help them rebuild their schools, but I also think people from Haiti would like to be a, or want to be a part of the process and want to be responsible and, and take their own destiny into their hands and help build. But I think they're happy to have the help. Mm -hmm.